Uh, okay, do we want to jump into fan art? We can, for sure. Just get into it. Give, yeah. Give the kids some art. All right. Fan art! Oh, are you even put <laughs> apologies for the stream leg? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. I just tossed that in because people funny. are asking. Yeah. It's not your guys' networks. We're thinking it might be network issues on yeah. our end, so. And when you say our end, you mean me. <laughs> it's okay. You can I mean, say our it. Canadian ISP end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've had this similar issues, but that's okay because we can still do fan art. We can still do fan art. Okay, I'm ready for you, Danny. Ready? All right, let's go. All right, first up, this is from Saria and and Saria and Eris. This is an Eidolon hunt. They said, enjoy Oberon, Wukong, and Necros stalking that poor Eidolon in purple, gold, and white vibes. Ooh. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I love the colors. Yeah, it's giving me very like it's autumn. The grass. <laughs> I'm very excited for autumn if you can't tell by my giant sweater. <laughs> no. I, I had a sweater on and then I got really warm because I'm all stressed out, so I can, I can handle it. Um, but this is an amazing piece. Uh, Oberon and Wukong together. A great pairing, I must say. Absolutely. Next up, we have from Coral Penguin. This is their Mirage Prime. Uh, and it is, they said it was super duper fun to draw. And I mean, Mirage Prime is just a super duper fun Warframe with her oh. great disco ball of, of damage. So love it. I feel like I've never seen someone draw fan art in that Oricon hallway before. Right. But like, it's so perfect. It's like a little dance hall. You get those like big ball guys going and it's like a party. <laughs> And this would be the it best. Has labors. Yeah, Sorry, this, no, this would be the best place because it's like so reflective in there. It'd just be like this crazy yeah. rave for yourself. <laughs> I love it. Beautiful. Next up from Elias Dridart. This is their Banshee and Octavia in Lua. <gasps> A for it. iconic pairing of the two Wub Wub frames, as people prefer to call them. I think. <laughs> Um, the Zenistar, oh my god. Mm -hmm. The colors, I'm a big fan of dark blue. Yeah, they they match and they look, they look like a pair, uh, that's for sure. Oh yeah, they look like they're about to like crack skulls. Like if they're like a like a female like crime fighting duo a little bit. You know what actually maybe, like... I just thought of? Because they're like the wub wub frames. It reminds me of like in Scott Program versus the world when they're facing yes! the like the, is it the, not the Yakuza, what are they called? Do you remember? The twins? I don't. I don't, but I know what you're- like the two yeah. dragon yeah. guys? Yeah, absolutely! This oh is, my god! <laughs> this is that version of that, right? Yeah, they combine their powers at the same time to create an even bigger power, that'd be- Yeah, they're like, screw you, Ramona, you broke my heart. Yeah. <laughs> All right, moving on. This is from Kiniuxi, and this is titled Come See Us in Cetus. Now, this is so very well detailed that there's a, a lot going on here. We have Excalibur in the back. He looks like he's trying to choose where he's going to go. We have Oberon, and I think that's Necros looking at fish. We got uh, we got cats, and we got Oberon just kind of gracefully walking through. And then we have Equinox, and it's hard to tell what one is i don't think that's a warframe i think that's just the person might be oh i think it's no i don't know but anyways like i said it's very detailed i could look at this all day the colors especially very autumnal i must yeah. say i love the reference to the videos we made at, at tenocon mm -hmm. what is relaxation it's a choice diverse commerce teno loving and pet friendly it's kicking back. It's sun-kissed meat slabs. Drums of unnerving milky fruit. Unusually big doors. Large mutant birds. Friendly faces. And plenty of rugs. It's sitting in the fresh air on the beachfront. So what is relaxation? Well, come see us in Cetus. Call 1-800-555-CETUS for your free vacation planning DVD. That's 1-800-555-CETUS. Call today. I could absolutely see this in like a pamphlet or like on a, a government website <laughs> trying to like tourism.cetus.com tourism or yeah. something. Don't go to that website. I don't know if it exists. <laughs> <It's but right. laughs> yeah, I love it. Love the oh. lighting. Love the choice of season. Oberon is looking perfect in this scene and this clearly took a lot of time and it's beautiful. So thank you. Stunning. Next up from I thought this was hilarious when I saw it. Like, I couldn't stop laughing. This is from Rabbit Entrails. And it's just the 
Lotus, but <laughs> you know, she. Oh my god. She's got places you... to be, okay? And she's just peacing out, so. Yeah, she saw Mother and she's like, I can't compete. Yeah, she's Bye. honestly, like, seeing all this Mother fan art, she's like, all right. Guys, yeah. She needs to take a break for her own yeah. health. She go. Oh. She go. Just like my internet. All right, moving on. <laughs> Continuing uh, from Blazing Cobalt, who we love and is doing Tenogen, this is Clem yeah. Fall Guy. So if you don't know, they also did a Lotus Fall Guy. And if you don't know the game Fall Guys, where have you been for the last like week and a half? <laughs> um, and they got a lot of requests to do Clem after they did Lotus. So this is a Clem Warframe Fall Guys uh, little crossover. And he's just cute. He was made to be a bean, oh. you know? Absolutely. What a perfect little bean. Perfect the little talented, bean. talented Blazing Cold Ball. I can't believe that. From seeing like 3D art to this. So incredible. And it's fitting because <sighs> they were the first, like, they, they're just, they've been around for so long and they're just so good. I love, I love Blazing. I love them. Yeah. Love them. Uh, moving on. This is from Timothy Mark. They made their very own Necromech model. Whoa. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I was kind Look of hoping that. it would be made out of a cup of corn, but you know, I, I'll take what like, I can get. <laughs> it's still got like the corn cob realness in there. The detailing is awesome. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they said it took them uh, a week and a half of work and uh, they have a little necromech and I think it is the cutest. The first thing. one. It is... You are the first necromech owner yeah. in the world. It's true. No one else has it yet. T tell us how we balanced it. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, tell us. Oh my. All right, next up is from Heliumers. This is some mother fan art. She's looking oh. just kind of terrifying, not gonna lie. Honestly, it's like your mom comes home and you didn't take the chicken out <laughs> of the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> this is that version of mother or like you're looking for something and you can't find it and you know the moment like this is she found it in 10 seconds yeah. of looking for it or this, this is, is like mother. your mom has already asked you like four times to clean your room and she's her peeking oh. around the door to be like yeah. <laughs> You better it's do your true. work especially like the lines coming up out of it. It's like she, you've been seen. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my she goodness. mad. She mad mom Love it <laughs> Uh, next up, this is from Paul Mushkin. This is also another Necromech piece. They're doing 30 Days of Frames. And this is a bonus one where they did the Necromechs. And they've done them so cute. The one on the left with those, like, little hands. I, I'm about 99.9% .9 sure they don't have those little hands. But it's super cute. Yeah, they should now. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I've been cute. following their 30 Days of stuff religiously. It is so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you see the one where... Never mind. I won't spoil it. I don't know if you included it, but... Oh, they're amazing. I don't think I did, but I need to know. I might, I'm going to do some creeping. Um, in walking his helmet. Did you see that one? I'll no, post I didn't it, see that one. But I'll post it in chat. It's just incredible. Um, here you go, chat. If you want to look at this, have fun. <laughs> I want to see it, too. I'm going to open it. Oh, oh my god, it's legs. <laughs> it's, arms, though. it's just so good. <laughs> oh my god, I wish I'd seen that. That's so funny. All right, the last fan art of tonight goes to Bumble Steak, and this is a Zaku piece, and they said, there'll be tons of skeleton jokes made when they come out, brace yourself, and you're not wrong, Zaku is very Skeletor in oh. uh, their final form, but we love Zaku nonetheless, we have Zaku here on a skateboard doing some sweet tricks, and I think I also included the next one, Danny, did I include a second image? Yeah, yeah. he needs some milk! <laughs> 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 like, I'm hoping that that's the reference to that vine, you know? It better be. Uh, or else it doesn't just, make uh, any sense why you'd be pouring milk on him. <laughs> he's got, he needs calcium for the bones. Yeah. There's, they I, need calcium for the bones. Yeah. I, I'm going to go with that's what it is. But love Zaku. And Zaku will be great when uh, when they come out in Harder Demos. And that's all the fan art that we have today. 